Third year dog musher Pam Schomber is hitting the gravel and mud for the first time. I approached today knowing it was a totally new experience and we were just going for fun. Um, and the goal is just to try to not fall off the cart and end in one piece and have the dogs have a good time. Mushing is a common sport in Alaska, just not without snow. But dry land mushing is gaining traction here in the state. Dog sledding on wheels has become popular in the lower 48 and around the world. And it's the unusual weather here in Alaska that's bringing the concept into the last frontier. Traditionally, Chugiak Dog Mushers has a November um, snow racing season. That doesn't always happen um, because of lack of snow. So we decided that we would start incorporating the dry land mushing just so people can be in an event early in the season and still be out there with their dogs. Dry land mushing is pretty similar to regular snow mushing. You have the same mushers, the same dogs, really the same concept. The biggest differences though are the obstacles. You have roots and puddles like this all along the trail, not to mention the heat Heat. Distances are much shorter because of the temperatures, so we don't run them, um, as you saw here, just under two miles. Temperatures can be a little bit warm for some of the furrier dogs. This was the first dry land mushing event hosted by the Chukiak Dog Mushers Association, and it had double the turnout organizers were hoping for. But what makes this race especially fun for Schomber, a first place finish. I was surprised. Um, I, I'm very happy. They did very, very well. Um, they're good dogs. <laughs> In Chugiak, Jake Edmonds, KTVA 11 Sports.